It's a brand new nonprofit that will be focusing on providing a girl-centered environment, which is specifically designed to not only encourage young women, but empower them to be the best version of themselves. Takara Huckabee, founder and executive director of Girls Empowered for More Society, is here to share this very exciting news as she embarks on this new journey and hopes that your young girl will be a part of it all. Well, Takara, thank you for joining us today. It's thank exciting. It's me. big news. It is. I want you to tell our audience what GEMS is all about. Well, really, we are an environment where we are nurturing and empowering girls to be the best version of themselves, um, particularly in regards to STEM leadership and entrepreneurship. And of course, those are fields in which women are often underrepresented and even more pronounced yep. underrepresented in terms of our brown and black girls. So we mm -hmm. want to make sure that we provide an environment where they are able to thrive, receive the support and encouragement that they need so that they can move into those fields where they can become the leaders, they can become the STEM um, gems, if you will, and they can become the entrepreneurs um, in our community. So that's our main goal. And we wanna do that through our programming. And so we want to have uh, relevant and rigorous programming. Um, that really supports them doing hands-on learning in those particular fields. Takara, can you tell me why you decided that there was a need for this specific nonprofit? Well, this has been 10 years in the making. However, when I became mom to Tegan and Haven, um, it really told me that I needed to do more to make sure that girls mm. were really empowered. So it really put things in perspective for Absolutely. you after you became a mother yourself, Takara. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and so, you know, we had a survey of the community and we were fi finding that the girls didn't really want to aim for things that related to STEM. And because of that, you know, we really were um, encouraged that we were on the right track to go down the line of trying to find some programming that would speak to them really seeing themselves as STEM leaders. Why do you feel that there is an issue with uh, young females getting into STEM? Well, oftentimes, especially when they enter middle school, they develop a mindset in which boys are good at science and math. Um, and of course, if anybody knows anything about the growth mindset study, they, they found that when girls hit middle school is when that particular mindset tends to play because go into play because boys are the ones that are called on most often in those classes and they are the ones that are by society standards supposed to be good mm -hmm. at those types of things. So what we want to do through some of our programming is really encourage a growth mindset in, in regards to STEM so that these girls can know that they can and do those hard things. And we see that issue across the board, right? Absolutely. All over the country, all over the Absolutely. world, we see the lack of females in these STEM roles. Correct. Um, I was looking over the year-long program that you actually sent and you have designed for, for GEMS for the nonprofit. Um, a common denominator that I specifically learned um, was learning, enhancing, developing skills, things like growth mindset camps, self-care Saturdays, gratitude, all of these things that young females can benefit from. And see, the thing about it is, in terms of leadership, oftentimes the one thing that people forget to um, make, give an emphasis to is self-care. Leaders can't pour into anybody mm. else if they have not taken so care true. of themselves. So, so we want girls to know that early on so that they can be better fit for when they do move into those leadership roles. Wonder wonderful. Well, real quick, uh, what is the target age group for the nonprofit? We are aiming to serve 7 to 17. 7 to 17. Mm -hmm. And how can people sign up their kid for this specific? I know you have a, an a event that we're going to talk about coming up that's happening this Saturday at Sideport. Tell us about that event real quick. Well, we're going to be um, actually having this event with our partner, Sideport, to be basically let families know the details about each program that will be offered. And I think this is going to be important because if you know exactly what's happening during each program, you will have a better idea of whether it's a good fit for your child or not. And uh, Takara, how can people sign up their kid? Is, it, is there a specific one, like if they say they don't need specific courses, how do they do this? So we will have a website launch on Saturday. So after we finish um, presenting to the community, our website will be up and it will be running and they will be able to go through, see a course description of every program that's gonna be offered and you can itemize what you want. You don't have to be a part of everything. We will want them that if they can, you know, if they're in the if age range. More mature enough. Yes, that, right? if they're in the age range, we would definitely want them to, but you will be able to handpick. 
what Wonderful. you want. Wonderful. Well, Takara, so thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for what you're doing in our community. Again, this event is happening this Saturday at Cyport at 6, 6 p.m., correct? That's and do correct. people need to register for that? They just show up. Well, we do have a link on Eventbrite, but you're welcome to just come out. Just show up, come meet you, come talk, come see if this is for you, right? Right. 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 Okay. Well, thank you so much for thank being you here for and congratulations me. on thank your 10-year you. vision yeah. finally coming to thank fruition. You. I'm I'm I excited for it. you guys. Thank you.